Yeah, man, Detroit. I love the I love the city of Detroit. A lot of opportunities, but I, I do recall the summer of '67, Detroit riots, the brutality and the just the, the racial thing at the time, and the police. You know, is uh, wow. That was an experience to me. I remember the riots were centered on Woodward Avenue and Virginia Park, Virginia Park being the main street. I grew up on Virginia Park, the exact same street. Four or five policemen came out, drew their guns, and they were saying, stop. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, somebody's in trouble. So, you know, you're looking around. I was just about to get on the bus. I'm looking around to see what's happening. And they were actually pointing the guns at me. And so they dragged me to the alley. And uh, they're just they're just beating up these, these four big guys. Uh, some are holding me up like this, and they're just punching me with their fists, punching me in my ribs, punching me on my back, trying to figure out why are they doing this, and I'm asking them, what did I do? And you, oh, you got the wrong guy. I guess I never will know. I never knew, will know why they selected me. I just got a beat down just because I was there at the bus stop going to school. And so, uh, I don't know. Playing the guitar, that was my ticket out. A lot of y'all know me from Ghostbusters. I got it. Who you gonna call? I ain't free no Ghostbusters. It makes me feel good. I got all that. But you know, it, it's interesting to me. Do you really think that I just woke up one morning and they just happened to call me and I wrote the song and then I went back to sleep? I mean, I, see, I read so many things and, and I think it's just funny. Like people think that that's the only thing I've ever done or I never did anything. How many instruments do you play? Four. How old are you? 23. When did you start playing an instrument? Uh-oh, about when I was eight years old. What was the first instrument you ever played? The clarinet. Where were you on the night of July 4th, 13th? <laughs> you played with everybody in the world, have you not, at this point, practically? Uh, yeah, just about. Like, name drop for me, quickly. Just roll off 15 names. Diana Ross, Seals and Crofts, uh, Barry White, Stevie Wonder, you know, the Rolling Stones. Stop, stop. <laughs> Well, let me, let me just tell you this. I've got about 29 or 30 really big records. Shaka Khan I wrote for, Barry White, big hits on, Donna Ross, Patti LaBelle, New Edition, uh, my own band Radio, Ray Parker Jr. If you, if you check us out, we got a lot of hits. And, but the main thing I do is play the guitar. And, and I'm musically trained, play with lots and lots of artists. But I just think it's really, really funny that people look at the ghosts, they go, who are you going to call? And they think that, I don't know, I just woke up that afternoon and, and, and just wrote the song and went back to sleep. And by the way, why do you think they called me to write that song in the first place? So I love music. Music is my life. I've been playing the guitar since almost, I can't remember anything before that. So of course there's more to it than just who you going to call.